Yup, we got it. We got it. What's up, YouTube? This is Cooking with Doug, and what you see here is an unboxing of my brand new six quart Weston two in one indoor smoker and slow cooker combo. This one comes with an internal meat thermometer. Let's take a tour around it. Let's see what we got. All digital in the front. I like that. Logo right there. But not much to see otherwise. But I figured I'd show you. And that's where the internal meat probe goes meat thermometer and you can plug that up very easily we got a three prong plug that's not long i'd say it's about average yes yeah, average average length okay guys so let's take a look inside all right so this is the base right here right so this part does not come off just stays right there you're going to put your wood chips in here right and it does come with this little ring to keep everything where it needs to be and then it has the cover like that and so it has holes on the side oh I didn't even show you that so it has these holes on the side so that's where the smoke's gonna leak through and then I'm gonna show you the racks that it came with you put a like a rack there if you're smoking and then that's how it will get you know the smoke to your food now if you're not smoking food and you want to slow cook food you take that out and you put this inner pot in or what they call a vessel in like so and then you can use it like a crock pot which I will not use because I have a bunch of multi cookers in fact I have another one on the way from Ninja um, I think it's called a possible cooker so I have plenty in fact on top of my cabinet all of those can slow cook so and those are bigger and deeper than this machine so for me personally I'm just smoking and before I forget to uh, mention this um, my subscribers and longtime viewers know that I had the Presto indoor smoker that was the first of these that I can recall um, but you know that got recalled and um, well mine messed up anyway because mine fell and it wasn't able to close securely like it like dented the, the side and it wasn't able to close um, airtight so that the smoke would stay in. So I ended up giving it to Goodwill and a month after that it was the recall. So either way it would have been gone. But I, want, I say that to say this, is, this doesn't look as wide as the Presto. It looks as deep but not as wide. But remember this is a six quart. However, big ups to Miss Brazel because she just reviewed a different type of indoor smoker. And I believe that's a nine quart. And that will give you um, a little wider, um, you know, capacity. But I don't need that. But if you did, I'll leave a link there so you can check it out. You can't get that one on Amazon, but you can get this one on Amazon. So that's because I didn't need the, the extra wide space and it's on Amazon. I figured I'd go with this one. Oh, and it got the meat. It has the meat thermometer, so that's something that no other one has so far. Okay, guys, these are your racks. You get three. So this is the only one with the handles, but you get three in total, and they're stackable, of course. Just for extra credit, let me stack these racks in there so you could see boom so the one with the handles you put in first and then you put the other ones in the reason why you put the ones in the handle first is so that you can use the handles to take everything out and it might not be to perfection but that's just a gist of yeah that's how it looks and you can put the cover on it's fine <clears throat> and yeah by the way guys, hold tight because we are going to smoke something in this video. I'm going to leave you hanging. 
So I got some wood chips. These are hickory wood chips. These are the same wood chips I would use in my outside smoker. And this is my outside electric smoker, by the way. You do get a manual. Has some charts in there, just a little. Yeah, this is the smoking guide. So anywho guys, let's go ahead and plug it in for the first time and go over that part. Alright, I got it plugged in. I'm going to hit on. Okay. Alright, I had to turn it back off because how this works is once you turn it on, whatever it's set to in four seconds is going to just start on that mode. So I'd rather explain it to you this way. So you got the program which is slow cook or smoke right here. Um... And then you got for slow cook, you have high, low and warm. And then for smoke, you got cold, hot and combo smoke. And these are your up and down arrows to change uh, the temperature. I mean, the time and the, um, you know, whether it be cold smoke, hot smoke combo or slow cooking, hot, low or warm. I like that it does have the probe. Um, light there, uh, if the probe is in, the light will be on if it's not. It won't. And interesting here, it says probe set, probe temp set. So I'm thinking that you could set a temperature and we'll look into that a little further. But I want to get into a quick cold smoke right now. So I'm going to turn it on. I'm going to hit that for smoke. It's already on cold. And um, yeah, I'll, I'll do 30 minutes. I just realized I didn't add my wood chips. <laughs> Nor did I tell you what I'm going to cold smoke either. But anyway, you know, on my outside smoker, I usually soak my wood chips uh, for like at least 30 minutes. You know, I don't, and I've done it both ways. You don't have to do that, but it smokes. It's a better smoke when you wet them outside. But for as far as my indoor smoker, the first one I had, the Presto, I didn't wet them. Because I know somebody's going to ask. But I didn't, I didn't wet them, so I'm going to continue that trend with this. So I guess like that. Yep. It's been so long since I had my indoor smoker. It's like I forgot. <laughs> yeah, so that's, that's all I'll do. And then what we do is we put our cover on. Boom. And then we're going to put our rack in. All right. I can get these handles out. There we go. Like that. And now let me show you what I'm going to smoke. We got some Jimmy John's. Now this could be anything. This could be a sandwich, a homemade sandwich that you've made. But I love me some Jimmy John's. And if you ever want Jimmy John's Doug style, just get a number 12. No cucumbers, because for some reason with this sandwich, it makes me burp. I love cucumbers, but it, I, I've, I've tested it out. It, for some reason, I go into a burp frenzy. So number 12, no cucumbers, add bacon. You'll love it. And to my diabetics out there or pre-diabetics and you want to even um, healthier, Jimmy John's will take out the bread and wrap it in lettuce. It's called an unwitch. So if you want it like that, you'll say number 12, no cucumbers, add bacon, unwitch. And they'll do it that way. All right. So this tonight is going to be my dinner. This is what it looks like. It's got like an avocado spread in there as well. Turkey, cheese, onions, that sort of deal. And for the cold smoke, all I'm going to do... Now, for cold smoke, you're doing things that's already cooked, right? So you can do hard-boiled eggs. You can do um, lots of different sandwiches like I'm doing now. You could do cheese, um, nuts, you know, etc. In fact, let me do it like this. Because we want to have it open a little bit so that the smoke can kind of get in. 
know what I'm saying? Yeah, like that. All right, guys, let's get this glass lid on. Remember, we're gonna press it down. Make sure it's on really good. All right, we're gonna put our meat probe in just to close this hole. Make sure that it's closed. I don't know if you have to do it because it actually looks like it's kind of sealed, but no, I'm just going to put it in just for safety. And just if your first, you know, few times, uh, just take a look around the lid on the sides and make sure that there's no uh, gap, um, you know, uh, between the base and the, and the glass lid. That's, you know, make sure it's airtight is what I'm trying to say. But anywho, let's get this on again. So I'm going to hit on. I'm going to hit smoke. It's already at cold. It's already at 30 minutes. So I don't have to do anything. It will just start like it just did. So when I start seeing smoke, I'll come back and I'll show you. So wait a minute. Only 10 seconds have passed. So I'm just observing here. I'm just using my common sense because... I don't read the manual too much all the time, so it's not acknowledging that I have the probe in. So I'm only, I'm thinking the probe might just be for the slow cook part. So let me take out the probe and see if it smokes. I mean, see if any smoke is coming out of that hole. And if, the, if it doesn't, even better. So about four minutes in, you could see some smoke coming on the right side so it's coming along I, I smell some hickory I can smell a little bit in the air so so far so good all right now we're seven minutes in and it is smoking now I think I smell a faint uh, smell of smoke but nothing that you know would be irritant but you know smoke chips I mean that's that's a fantastic aroma in your house anyway but just just to give you what's happening it's not overwhelming or like you know my house doesn't smell like it's about to burn down or anything like that it's a faint smell it smells good though coming along good we got 18 minutes left see nothing's coming out of that so that's cool. So you don't you don't need to meet pro. I mean to you know put in there. That's just I guess from what I'm saying just for slow cook, if you want to set a temperature or just see the temperature. Which if that's the case, then that would be a bummer because I wouldn't need it because I'm not slow cooking. I want to use it for smoking, but not necessary because. Like I said, six hours should cook everything anyway. All right, four to six. I mean, an hour and a half to six hours if you're using, you know, regular smoking where it's hot. I mean, it'll cook. a. have cooked a brisket in an indoor um, smoker in five hours. So I don't necessarily need a, a thermometer, but it would have been nice to use with the smoker part. But anyway. All right, we got one minute left. We'll see what it sounds like when it's done. And by the way, you can change um, the time on the fly. That's no problem. You just press um, the up or down button and it will change the time. So we're just waiting to finish up here. And yeah, so 30 minutes of cold smoke doesn't, I mean, it's a faint smell of smoke. I was in my living room, you know, just chilling, looking through my phone and I had a, you know, I could smell the hickory smoke a little bit in there, just faint. And so, you know what it's like? It's like, say you're grilling outside and you open the door and some of the, the grill smoke came in your house. It's kind of like that, but not overwhelming. So you heard it right there. So we're done. Let's get the lid off and see what happens. That is smoke, that's for sure. And by the way, um, the glass lid is dishwasher safe, the racks are dishwasher safe, 
and the slow cooker vessel or inner pot is dishwasher safe. If I forgot to mention it, which I probably did. It's warm, but like a little warm. The least warm it could be. It's least warm that it wouldn't melt cheese. If that makes sense. So there is, well, obviously it would have to be warm to some degree to actually make the uh, wood chip smoke. But, but you can see, um, I'm going to give you a better look. But this could be you guys. Shout out to my viewers and subscribers that hit the like button way before my video is even finished. I appreciate that. All right, I'm ready. You take the first bite. You got it? All right. Oh, yeah. It definitely tastes smoke. No doubt about it. So now we gotta try a grilled cheese sandwich. What else? A peanut butter and jelly sandwich. <laughs> mm. Mm -hmm. That's good. Definitely try it out with your favorite wood chips. It doesn't have to be hickory, it could be mesquite, apple, whatever have you. By the way, shout out to Joy and everyone else that suggested me take a look at this indoor smoker in my live about a week ago. Big ups to all of y'all, y'all put me on. I By the way guys, this is 120 bucks on Amazon. I'll leave a link in the description. Um, and I'll also leave uh, a link in the description to the one that Miss Brazil has. I can't pronounce that one, but that one's a little bigger. Um, looks a little stylier, but same difference. Um, but for ten, I think it's ten more bucks. I think it's like one hundred and thirty bucks for that one. Um, but check check them both out. But for one, I'd rather save the ten bucks because I'm doing sides with this, right? So I'm doing like mac and cheese smoked after it's cooked. I'll do some cabbage after it's cooked smoked. I'll do some. Um, what else? Maybe some some beans and and you know the sandwiches. Just have fun with it. You know what I mean. So I'm not gonna be doing like some serious hardcore stuff in here. I'll just be putting stuff in to just smoke and just finish it off in here. So I'm gonna have some fun with. It. You'll see some videos coming out. Um, and and you can see my older Presto indoor vid um videos. I've done like whole chickens. I've done. I think I've done some ribs, I've done some hard-boiled eggs and a cold uh, smoke. So, it, I already have a few out there, so just check that out. Just type in indoor, indoor smoker and you will see my videos come up. Alright? So, I hope this video was helpful to you guys. And if you're like, if you want to smoke indoors, you can do it. And again, this is not an outside smoker, alright? So, it's, but you can smoke outside if it's in a safe place. If it's not raining and if it's like slightly drizzling, if you if you have it a place where it has like an overhead where it doesn't get wet, that's fine. But of course, if this gets rained on, it's gonna mess it up. Of course, if it's real cold outside and you left it overnight, it probably would mess it up. So this is not an outside smoker. But like what I like to do right now is I'm gonna take it outside where in a safe area, like right on top of my, um my outside smoke I'll just rest it on there and let the smoke just ease out and then I'll bring it in and uh, either hand wash or put the the racks and the um, the lid in the dishwasher whatever I feel like doing but again I hope this video was helpful and like I said I'll leave a link in the description to both indoor speak um, speakers indoor smokers so you could check them out but that's all I got this is cooking with Doug and I'm out. So hit like if you like it. Remember to subscribe. And if anything, thanks for just looking at my video.